coming at you live from quarantine. Oh, I'm laughing, but it's true. And it's sad. What's up, YouTube family? So, it is like... 10.30 at night and I am in the car because I'm going to go pick up Thomas from the hospital. Had to take him to the emergency room because he wasn't feeling well. And I don't mean Tom Tom as in the little one. I mean the big one. So they gave him like, he said he had chills and his body hurt and he had a really bad migraine. So they gave him a um flu test as well as the other test you guys know the one I'm talking about but YouTube is sensitive to that word so so they gave him both tests and he hasn't told me what his results are he did say the results are in so I guess we're gonna see as I pick him up but if he does have it and I don't mean the flu but if he does have it then our whole house has to quarantine for 14 days so the boys can't go to school I can't go to work even though we don't have it we still have to be quarantined because we've been close to him <sighs> but all right let me go pick this man up Excuse me. <laughs> Good morning, YouTube family. So, as you can see, well, as you saw from last night, picked my husband up from the hospital, and with the paperwork, and I showed you guys the note from the doctor. His test result was positive. So, our whole family is in quarantine for 14 days. I called Thomas and Theo's school, alerted them that the boys wouldn't be coming in because their dad tested positive. So I think the nurse is supposed to be calling me. That's what they said. The nurse is gonna call me later, I guess to ask if the boys have any symptoms, like to make sure that I didn't send the boys to school when they could have possibly been sick. Um, I called my job. To let them know they asked me the same questions am I experiencing any of the symptoms that Big Thomas is experiencing so it's gonna be fun 14 days in the house doing nothing oh and today is my birthday yay it's just good news on top of good news on top of good news so oh then the best part speaking of good news we didn't go grocery shopping like at all our refrigerator is so bare our cabinets are just full of randomness and according to the paperwork that they gave us like the discharge papers that they gave my husband we have to get permission to leave the house from like the task force commander like they have a whole task force to make sure people stay in quarantine and we have to ask for permission from the commander in order to be able to leave the house but we're gonna have to do something. Like we're really gonna have to call this person because we have zero groceries. Like when I say, I'm gonna show y'all, like we have nothing. All right. Yeah, box of steakums, some sausage, my salmon fillets, um, bikini noodles, cauliflower rice. Nobody else in the family eats this but me. Then coming over here, like you see all the air and space. <laughs> Some beef cubes. I think these are like pork chops that I just had to divvy up when I bought them from the supermarket. Chicken, little mini pizza things, corn dogs. I think this is like diced chicken. And then half a bag of pizza rolls, half a bag of french fries. But it doesn't stop there. Like, let's go to the refrigerator. 
Yeah. I think that's like enough milk for one bowl of cereal. Um, <laughs> juice. And again, in our vegetable container, it's just like Brussels, just like Brussels sprouts, broc uh, not broccoli, cucumber. Yeah. It's real bare. Like super de duper bare. Even on there. But we have liquor for days. Like, can you survive for 14 days off of moonshine and wine? Heaven only knows. But we have to go grocery shopping. Like, yesterday, last week, we need to go grocery shopping. Oh, I guess this will teach us to fully grocery shop when we're supposed to and not wait until the last possible minute. All right, so we figured out the food problem. We ordered online from Walmart and I didn't know Walmart delivers, but apparently they're going to deliver the food somehow, some way. They're able to get on base. They're gonna deliver the food. Just leave it on the front step and then we can bring it inside. So, food crisis has been averted. But the only thing with that is the time slot, the only one available was for like 5 o'clock tonight. So we have to figure out a way to like survive until 5 o'clock. But it's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. I hope. Like boys are arguing already. Like 14 days of this. I just. Alright. So. I've taken to wearing my mask in the house. Even though it's more so Thomas who should be wearing the mask, but he hasn't really left our bedroom, so that's his quarantine zone. I have set up camp downstairs. Got my pillow, got a blanket. On the futon in the living room, it's where I'm gonna be sleeping from now on, because it the way my immune system is set up, I don't got time to be taking chances. <sighs> so we found a temporary fix to the food problem. Good old Uber Eats. I got Chipotle. The guys got pizza. Um, so, oh, upon further discussion, with the boys' school, the nurse called, as we were expecting, and the boys can't go back for 24 days. They have to do 10 days. They can't come to school initially from the moment that Thomas found out that he was positive, and then an additional 14 days in quarantine before they're allowed to come back to school. Apparently that is the guidelines for the county that we're in so the boys will be out of school for 24 days it's amazing but mind you the excuse note that the emergency room wrote for me and Thomas both technically it says that we have to quarantine for 10 days so what are we supposed to do with those additional 14 days that our children will not be in school like, I'm going to have to call my job and say, hey, I have to be out for 24 days. Like, this is 24 days of no paycheck. So, it's going to be real interesting. Very interesting. But I'm about to eat my good old Chipotle because, you know, it's not like you can really reheat it once it gets cold. Because all the tomatoes and vegetables and stuff on it. So let me eat my food. Before it gets cold and then I have to eat it cold. I'm just... I'm just 24 days though. Ugh. Just finished my lunch. I got a vegan bowl from Chipotle. I'm still so stuck on those. They're so good. But my husband ordered a triple chocolate brownie from Pizza Hut. And here it is. So I'm guessing this is as close as I'm going to get to like a birthday cake or, or a cupcake of any kind for my birthday. 
I mean, like, don't even have a candle to stick in it. But yay, happy birthday to me. No one even to sing happy birthday to me. This is a mess. This is this is a birthday for the books. Like, <laughs> oh, I just want it to be over. I feel like I've spent so much time between my tablet and my phone getting in touch with everyone, like calling both my jobs to let them know of the situation and that like I'm supposed to report to my second job on the 10th, but I can't do that. So I have to call the human resource department to alert them of the situation because heaven only knows what we're going to do. But by the time I got that genius idea to like look for the email to find out who the human resource person was, their time they're on the East Coast, which I don't understand. How can the business be on the West Coast, but their human resource department is on the East Coast? But either way, human resources is working off of Eastern time and they closed at 4.30. And when I looked at the clock, it was 2.22 here, which meant that it was 4.22 in Jersey. Or no. They closed at 4.30. It was 2.32 when I looked at the clock. I'm so flustered and confused. Like, I'm going to just eat my brownie and go sit down. I am so annoyed. Like, we put in our grocery order early this morning like super early this morning like 9 a.m put in this order and we're supposed to come at 5 it is 701 right now it's still no food like what is happening we got the front door cracked like i keep peeking outside i don't even know keep peeking outside like they even left had the audacity to send a text or an email or whatever talking about, oh, your order has been canceled with the restaurant. The restaurant we ordered from Safeway. What is happening? So then the driver calls and he's like, oh, it was a computer glitch. Like, I'm still on my way, sir. That was at 546. Where is your head? Like, look at our empty porch where our food is supposed to be like sir we even left the light on for you where are you it's like the motel six not having We've got groceries, we've got groceries, we've got groceries. All right, sir, it's open. It's open, I promise it's open. Groceries, we've got food. I know I'm coming. Can I take you there?